Welcome to the Gang Clarence Gomez Show, Ibe. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit late. Can you introduce yourself? I can. Um, so my name is Yvette Lee and I am a choreographer from Melbourne, Australia. Yes. How do you start as a dancer and choreographer? How did I start as a dancer? Um, well, I actually come from a family of dancers. Um, my mother was a dancer. My grandmother was a dancer. My great grandmother was a dancer. Um, and my two older sisters were dancers as well. And so when I was born, um, I was just born straight into the world of dancing. Um, and then I started training in ballet, first of all, until I was 12. Um, and then I discovered jazz dancing, and that took me right through to my adult life, which is what I still do now. Uh, uh, do you appear in many musicals and choreograph many musicals like any musicals? Yes. yes. So um, my very first musical was called How to Succeed in Business, um, and that was here in Melbourne. Um, and then I did another musical, uh, Dusty, the original Pop Diva, which was a musical about Dusty Springfield. Um, and I did Shout, the Legend of the Wild One. So there's all musicals that I've performed in. And then um, the musicals that I've choreographed here, uh, I've done a version of In the Heights. Yeah. Um, and I came over to the Philippines and I did a musical called All Out of Love. And I yeah. loved it over there. Yeah, um, I know, I know. You, I know, Mig Ayesa. <gasps> Isn't yeah. Mig amazing? Yes. He's so just... I know yeah. the cast of All Out of Love, Mig Ayesa. Wow. Yes. You, know, you know what? They were the best singers in the world I've ever yes. heard. of all In yes. all my yes. life, yes. I've never heard better singers. And wow, coming out of your country, incredible. Yes. Um, yeah, and so, and then there's been, uh, yeah, I'm, I worked on some original musicals. I did American Psycho as well, which was sort of a very big one that we I did here in Australia that just toured last year. Um, and, yeah, so th there's been quite quite a lot that I've worked on in, in my time. You, you are also a DJ. That's right, yes. <laughs> And so I just started DJing um, actually just, you know, over COVID. It was sort of a new thing because obviously um, in Melbourne, we were the most locked down city in the world. And we um, all had a lot of time here locked in our houses. And so I actually just bought some decks and I, and I learned and I got some sort of online lessons. And now that's what I do in my spare time. Um, I go and DJ at lots of different events here and actually a lot of um, – I DJed at the Moulin Rouge opening party when it opened here in Melbourne. And, yeah, so it's great. It's like a really um, excellent little side project that I do. And I love it because it feels very, very intertwined with what I do with music and dance. And I feel like it's all connected. So, yeah, it's, it's really great. How about you work in many artists, in many famous artists like Tim Min Chin? How, what is the experience working with many artists like? Like Tim Minchin. Uh, Tim, Tim Minchin is quite remarkable. Um, yeah, he's really was very, very in, incredible to work with. Um, I did his video clip 15 Minutes, which is, um, yeah, just based on that sort of Andy Warhol theory that everybody has their 15 minutes of fame and what that is now. And it's a very interesting concept for our society because it's very true. Um, and yet uh, working with Tim, it's always very thought provoking. Um, and very highly artistic. Um, but I find it, you know, I really enjoy working with music artists because everybody has a very, very different process um, and everybody is so sort of wildly artistic in their own way. And for me, I really enjoy tapping into that specific artist's, um, you know, the, the, the way that they like to move and the way that their brain works. And I sort of really try to get on board with their creativity and then we sort of find a way to, um, you know, harness the choreographic aspect of the job. So, yeah, it's really great. And I feel very fortunate to work with so many different artists in this country. Um, yeah, and I hope that that continues. You also work with, 
with many with many talent show like Australia's Got Talent, Asia's Got Talent, and X Factor. Yes, that's right. Um, actually, I love working on on all of those those reality shows, and there's been uh, a few that I've worked on, but. I really, really enjoyed working on Asia's Got Talent. That was my favorite. We went over to Singapore, um, and you know, it was uh, all the different groups from from all the different Asian countries, and just sort of seeing the scope of cultures and nationalities, and um, working with all the individual artists, and really getting to learn and understand about their cultures. It was just so incredibly fantastic. Um, all of those reality shows I have a really great time on, but I do have a very special place in my heart for Asia's Got Talent because I really felt like, um, yeah, we really found many, many groups from, uh, you know, very, very remote parts of Asian countries and brought them all to the one place and having everybody together and being able to produce acts for them. It was really fantastic. What kind of dance? do you choreograph because for me i have a favorite dance cha-cha i love that dance cha-cha i dance what is your what type of the of dance do you choreograph did you say you like cha-cha yes oh you love ballroom wow how amazing um cha-cha i like i love cha-cha um i don't know that i was very good at the cha-cha actually but um but my I think that what people call my style in Australia is commercial jazz because it's sort of a very pop influence take on Broadway. So it takes all the traditional aspects of jazz dance um, and then it melds it into a very sort of pop. Um, yeah, it was, it's sort of a, uh, has a, a very strong pop influence to it. And so most of the time, yeah, I work with pop artists or when I do musical theatre, they call that commercial musical theatre. Um, and generally, it's commercial dance is what I do. You also you you also work in many TBCs because I love TV commercials. Oh yes, yes, I do. Um, yeah, I've done some really fun ones. Actually, there's a new one coming out, John, that I'll send to you, which will come out in about four weeks that I think you'll really love. Um, we've done a new TV see here for Toyota it's for one of their new cars and it was a very very big cast of dancers so oh. that one that I just shot last week will actually be sort of the biggest TVC I've done with um I think we had a cast of 60 dancers in total um that one's great yeah so the TVCs are always a very interesting platform to work on because they're always done you know maybe in a day and you have to move yeah it's a very very different process of working really quickly and um obviously those TVCs are more about we've got to care more about the product than um, the dancing as such. So a lot of the time I'll get given people that actually don't know how to dance and I have to really teach them on the spot how to move. So, yeah, I find the commercials um, very, very challenging but very rewarding when you get to see them on the television. <laughs> I see a dance called Top Dance and it is awesome. I saw in in many in YouTube tap dancers they are very awesome. Do you know tap dance? I do, but unfortunately, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> yes, because me, I have because me, I'm very good on cha cha and on cha cha only because that's kind of my favorite dance. Because yeah, because in my country, the Philippines, if if every birthday we have celebration and we dance that. And we don't start cha-cha as happy as to make, uh, make happy. It's a it's a very joyous form of dance, the cha-cha, isn't it? It makes you feel happy when you do it. Yes, I'm very happy when I do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is the best best experience when it comes to choreography? The very best experience. Best experience my, you, you ever do? What is the best experience on the on? Um, I think, life? yeah, I think maybe with the um, uh, there's a few actually. So, I think the la the American Psycho, the last musical I choreographed that we were the one that we did here at the Opera House, 
I found that to be a really exceptional experience because it was very, very thought provoking for the audience. So it, it was a very emotional experience for me because to, for me to watch watch the audience, I, I often watch the audience watching the show and to see just how um, emotionally affected they were by the work, I found that very, very rewarding. Um, yeah, so I think that I always like it when when I know that I'm sort of uh, making a difference with the audience and making them feel emotions. I think it's really important, you know, for all of us as artists to um, know that you're connecting with your audience. Um, so that one was a really, really special time for me. But I also actually, you know, th- th- I enjoy many things for different reasons. Like I did um, I did a big job here with the, the AFL Grand Final last year and there is an artist, we have an Indigenous artist here called Baker Boy who is, um, yeah, like a wonderful pop artist and I got to work with him and that was also a really, really wonderful time. Um, I just, I always just feel lucky as just working on anything really, because I just love dance and I love choreography so much. And so I think any experience that I get where I get to, um, yeah, I get to create and I get to sort of be in a space where I'm with different artists and with different dancers. I always feel very, very lucky and fortunate for all of it. Uh uh, this is the last question because we have no time. Uh, can you give a tip, uh, advice to many people who wants to be a dancer and wants to be a choreographer like you? Can you give a little advice? Yeah. So my, my main advice always is to, to dancers and choreographers is that you just you have to believe in yourself first. Um, you can't be you. You shouldn't sort of go into it. Um, you know, worrying about what other people think of you and everything has to come from your heart and it has to come from your soul. And if you are truly creating and dancing um, from a place that is um, truthful and, and a place that, that has feeling, um, you'll always succeed. I think where people go wrong is that they try to always do things that they think will make other people happy. And I think that this is not just in dance and choreography, it's in life as well. I think that you have to be your biggest supporter you have to learn how to love yourself as a person um, and you have to learn how to trust yourself and you have to learn how to back yourself. And if you're your number one supporter, then everybody comes along for the ride with you. Um, so I guess that the main thing that I would say is just you must believe in yourself. Yes. Thank you for guesting to my podcast. Thank you. And now it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much, John. Yes, bye. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.